Well, the Dream Cruise is, of course, a tradition for so many, with a lot of people telling us today they've been to every single one since it started 25 years ago. Take a live look at 12 Mile and Woodward, the celebration of cars old and new. Let's get out to Larry Spruill. He's showing us something, though, that might outshine even the cars this year. When you think about the Woodward Cruise, you automatically think about the cars. And I got to tell you, there are a lot of them. Antique cars, there's old cars, there's new cars. But this year, something else stands out. It's the people stories. And I got to tell you, this year, there are some interesting ones. This is the, the Woodward Cruise. Peter Pilarito says it's official. He owns this Chevy Cruise. You can add this custom-made license plate with Woodward on it, and you have the official Woodward Cruise car. Well, according to Peter. I just bought the car, and I, and I, and I had the plate for many years. I didn't realize when I bought the car that I said, oh, yeah, this is the Woodward Cruise. I put it together. It's pretty funny. He's been here at the cruise for the last 25 years. It's about sharing the passion that we all have for the, for the car. We all have stories. My baby. Ralph Brown's story is on its 34th chapter. I've had it for about 30 years now. It's 34 years old, so 1985. But he only lets it out on special occasions. Only drive it on the weekends. That's the kind of thing that it is. It's a, a toy car. This is just like unbelievable, the things you can see. Well, you just got your wish. But the star of the weekend is Wes Ryan's car. I bought this car back in like 1995. You know, put a lot of work into it. Wes Ryan says he sold his car some years ago. Had it for about six or seven years and then found out my wife was sick. But oh, how life can bring things full circle. When I saw the pictures online, I saw that scuff mark, I saw that scratch, I saw the real cage. I was like, that's Christine. There she is. Jake Ryan tells me he had to buy the car and give it back to his dad. Their story went viral, even getting the attention of Ford Motors Company. Next, you know, we're getting a letter from Mr. Ford himself, and they want to help, you know, fix this car. I'm just like, oh, by all means. This car also represents, you know, what my wife went through. You know, uh, she, she fought cancer and she beat it. Reporting somewhere along Woodward Avenue, Larry Spruill, Local 4.